Welcome to the second Game Maker lesson. In this lesson, we'll learn how to make basic enemies and treats for your game. So we'll start using the same file that we did for lesson one. I'm going to save it as lesson two now. First, let's make a treat. So add another object, name it treat, or whatever you want. Add a new sprite, and I'll make a money sprite. Add an event for collision with your player. And then on the right, click the tab for score. Find the set score action, and type in a score to set it to. Click the relative box at the bottom, and then click OK. So add a couple treats to your room, and run the game. Oh dear, we see that the treat, even though I'm trying to pick it up, it's not disappearing. And if you can see the score up here, it's going up a lot. like. It's at 3,000 now. That's not what we want. So let's go do treat again. Go to the tab main one and find the trash can action. It's called destroy instance. So this destroys your object once the player picks it up. That way he can only pick it up once, so to speak. So run the game again. And you should see that he's now picking it up just once, and it's going up by 10 points each time. There's another common error that people sometimes make. If you uncheck the relative box under set score and run the game again, you should see what happens. So score goes up normally, but it stays at 10 when you pick up the second one. That's because you didn't check the relative box. Basically what relative means is that instead of setting the score to 10 every time you pick up a treat, it means add 10 to the score. And usually that's what we want. So always make sure that the relative box is checked. It's a pretty tricky thing to remember, but it's important. Now let's add an enemy. Same deal with the sprite adding. Add a new event. This time we'll do create and drag in the start moving action. I'm going to click both the left and right arrows. This means that when this happens, he randomly picks one of the two. Click OK. And add an event for the collision with an obstacle. And drag the reverse horizontal action. It's a loop from left to right. Click OK. And click OK again. Add some enemies into your room. So see they're bouncing back and forth. Now we want the player to have something bad happen to him when he hits the enemies. So let's add a collision event with the enemy. And since this is a maze game, it's kind of a good punishment to make him go back to the start position. 
when he runs into an enemy. That way he has to go through the maze again. So add the jump to start action. Click OK and run the game. See if I run into the enemy then I have to start over. And that's it. In the next lesson, we'll learn how to make new levels.